so this is a, a video that's important if you're looking at chapter 5 FP2 and doing first order differential equations. It's about implicit differentiation, something that is also looked at in C4. Um, and what I mean by this is when you've got to differentiate y, but you've got to differentiate it with respect to x. Um, so let's look at some examples. Let's say we've got to take y and we've got to differentiate it with respect to x. And then we know we write that down as dy dx. These two things are the same thing. But what if we had to take something like y squared and differentiate that? Um, what would what would that be equal to? Well, let's just think about what happened if we did x squared differentiated. Well, we know x squared, when you differentiate that, you just get 2x, right? So presumably if you did the same thing for y, differentiated y squared with respect to y rather than x, you would get 2y. So that gives us a way out up here. We can do something called a chain rule. So the chain rule is where you want to change this value here. You don't want to differentiate this bit to dx because we can't do that. We want to do it with respect to dy because we can do that. Um, of course, there's no way these two things can be equal to each other, right? Because I've just changed that for that and that doesn't happen in mathematics. You can't just change one thing. The way you get out of it is by trying to cancel out this dy. You do it by putting another dy in here. See that dy is on top, this dy is on bottom, so they would cancel out. Of course, this dx is still needs to be here, and so we've got to put that down the bottom there. You see what would happen is that dy and that dy cancels out, and that dx slides back to here. We're left with what we had before. This is called the chain rule, where you've changed what you're differentiating by. And this is great now, because we now know that dy, so d dy of y squared is just 2y. Obviously, this dy dx just hangs around. This is what's um, called implicit differentiation. In fact, you can see it's quite easy. You just differentiate the y squared, get 2y, but then you've got a member to put on a dy dx at the end. We're going to do it quite formally. There's no need to, but it helps when you first start doing something to understand what you're doing and why you're doing it, because it'll help you when things get hard later. Let's do a few more differentials. Let's do the differential to x of y cubed. So again, we can't do y cubed to x, so we change the x to a y. Obviously by doing that, we're going to cancel out that y and put that x back in. And then remember that differentiating y cubed is bringing the power to the front, reduce power to the one, and we just add on this dy dx here. You see what we've done is taking the y cubed, put the power to the front, reduce power by one, and then we times by dy dx. That's what makes it implicit differentiation. Let's do a few more. E to the y. Well, this time we want to change to a y because you can't differentiate switch to x. We times by dy dx to make it okay to cancel those y's out and put that x back in. Differential of e to the y, well, that's just e to the y. And one last one, let's differentiate sine y. Again, we change, differentiate sine y to y. Stick back in the dy dx to make it okay. And then differential of sine y is cos y. And this dy dx is times by r. That's all very well and good. The other thing that we want to talk about today is differentiating products, particularly products of x and y. Let's try and differentiate this thing here, x and y. Now we're going to use the uh, the product rule in this, which means we're going to differentiate the first part of the product and times by the other part left alone. And then we're going to add on the way around. We leave the first bit alone, then we differentiate the second bit. Now notice I've written this out really formally. Quite often 
we do some mathematics, we just write down the differential of this and then put the other one there, the differential of this, and we would never write down the terms, but it helps when you're doing implicit differentiation to write it out because then you can see which ones are weird and which ones aren't weird. You don't have to, but I'm a big advocate of writing it out. Now, if you differentiate x, we know you just get 1, so you can write the 1 in your line, or you can leave it out. Essentially, this is just a y, right? Here, we've got x. This time, we've got to do d by dx of y. Now, this one, we already know what it is, so let's not make it hard on ourselves. Let's just write out what it is. And there you go. Differential of x, y is this. This would be important when we start looking at exact uh, first order differential equations and try and write these things in a more helpful way, which is why we're doing this. But for now, we're just seeing if we can. Let's look at a couple more questions. Let's do the uh, d of dx of um, x squared y. Same thing, d dx of the first term times by a second part of the loan. And then leave the first bit alone and differentiate the other part of the product. Just using the product rule there. Differentiate x squared, we get 2x. Differentiate y, we get dy dx. There we go. Very good. Let's look at another. Let's do it the other way around. Let's do d dx of x times y squared and we can start using our implicit differentiation here so again we do d dx of the first part leave the second part alone and then leave the first part alone and differentiate the second part differential of x just one y squared and just here oh to change this basis because we can't differentiate y squared with respect to x so I'm gonna write this as being d dy of y squared and then we've got to put in the dy and the dx to make everything equal to what it was before one times y squared is y squared okay just here we've got to do differential of um, y squared so that's what 2y the x I'll go in here but I'll stick it in there make it look prettier and then the dy dx just gets tagged on being multiplied by that term I think we're ready for a slightly harder one just slide this up a bit I'll just stick you in a slightly harder one just so you've seen something really difficult let's do d dx of x squared e to the y. Yeah. So use purple, differential of the x squared bit, leave the ey bit alone, x squared bit times by a differential of ey. We can do this bit, 2x. Now over here, we don't really like differentiating either y or x, so we change it to be a y. We stick in the dy dx to make sure everything's still equal. And then we copy, 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 copy. And just here, we differentiate ey to y, so differential of ey is leave the y and the dy dx bit just sticks on the end there. Okay, so there's two things to practice there. One is your um, implicit differentiation with y. And once you've got that down, can you differentiate products of x and y? Best of luck. See you next time.